everybody, welcome to Woodham Tots Preschool. My name is Mrs Clements and I can't wait to meet you all when you come and start in September. I thought it would be really nice for you to have a look around our classroom. I know some of you are coming in to see us in, next week, but I thought it would be nice if I could just take you round and look at the classroom so you can look at it when you want to with your mummy or your daddy. So, can you see our nice rainbow? We have made this especially for you for when you come back in September. So, this is our small world area. In our small world area, we have lots of figures and things, and we also have blocks that you can make lovely castles or zoos out of, or great big towers, whatever you want to, you can make using the lovely resources that we have here. We're gonna have some new resources down here as well, so you can make fairy castles and things with, or superhero towers, that'd be fantastic. Now to add to that, if you wanted to add something to your zoo, we've got some more blocks and things here that you can use. We've got some things like um, Lego, we've got some stickle bricks, all wonderful things on there. And you can make all of these wonderful things on our big carpet here. Can you see my lovely big carpet? This is where we make, do our playing, but we also sit here, um, and I will sit in my chair here, and we will do lots of lovely activities to help you learn. So we'll be doing that in the morning, and we'll also be doing that before the end of your session, before you go home. We always read a lovely story. Um, so this area here is my investigation area. Are any of you scientists and want to find out how things work? or find out about animals and things. I know I do love to learn about animals. So this is the area where we will find out all the wonderful things that you want to know, all those questions you might have about where do dinosaurs come from? What lives in the ocean? We can do all of that here, so that's exciting. Also got a lovely um, light board here as well that you can make lovely patterns on. That artists in you can make lovely patterns on that right table. So come, with, so come with me to our book area. Now this is our book area and there's some books here that I bet you know. I bet you know the Gruffalo, don't you? Superworm is a friend that you might not know yet, but you will when you're here, because we love reading about Superworm. And this is a lovely cozy area where you can read lovely books with your friends and teachers. This area here, we call this our finger gym. Can you show me your fingers? We call it our finger gym and the activities on here will help your fingers get nice and strong. So you can make things like monsters, click that together and you can make a, a funny wing and put a head on it maybe. Whatever you want to do you can make, he looks a bit crazy doesn't he? But you can make that here. We've also got some threading. Who likes making necklaces? I bet you all love to make necklaces. So you can do some threading here as well. And you will sit and do this at this table here. I didn't show you our maths table, did I? This is our maths area where you can learn how to do lovely counting and recognise your numbers and things there. But it's all done with some wonderful toys and play things. So you've got some lovely money here. You can count money out to your friends. You can also count and sort out camels and things in there. So you can play with this uh, math stuff on the carpet as well, down there. It's in our home corner. Who likes making tea? We've got a lovely tea set here for you to make tea and dinner for all your friends. Don't forget your teachers as well, though. We like a nice cup of tea. And there's, so you can, you can play with your babies here. You can put nappies on them. You can feed them. Um, and you can do some cooking here. And don't forget, we've got our friend Spot. Spot is our dog, and he lives in the home corner too, so you can play with him too. Just like you might have a pet at home that you play with, you can pretend to play one here. So there's our lovely home corner. Oh, and you can also do lots of important work at the computer and talk to some superheroes because we've got Superman and Batman's number there and you can ring them and say hello. And you can also do some hoovering if you want to. Do you like puzzles? If you like puzzles, then we have puzzles here. My little 
Tony, we've also got Pepper Pig, and we've also got some Fire Mint ones. We've got lots more that we'll swap over as the day goes on or as the week goes on. You can make your puzzles on this table. There's so much to do, isn't there? I haven't finished yet. If you like drawing and colouring, then this is the area where you would do your drawing and your colouring. You see, we've got some lovely pencils here. We've got some crayons and some chalks and some paper. And also, if you want to do a certain uh, colouring uh, sheet, if you ask the teachers, we'll go and get one for you. So if you like Paw Patrol or Princesses or Pepper Pig, then we can do that with you here, can't we? It'd be amazing. Now this is my favourite area. You can make whatever you want with all of this stuff on here. One thing we must tell you though is that we do have to try and keep it tidy so it looks like this. We don't want stuff everywhere, do we? So we have to follow a few of our rules, but I'll teach you all about that when you come to preschool. But you can make junk mods on here as well. You can make things with cartons and boxes using all the wonderful things here. We've got feathers if you wanted to make a bird or a fairy. We've got some lovely material and pom-poms. So that is a lovely area. You can use glue and sellotape and scissors. We teach you how to use them safely. And that's what you can do there. You like Play-Doh. I bet you all love Play-Doh. Look what's in my box. The Play-Doh table has lots of wonderful things on here to, to make Play-Doh activities with. We've got knives, we'll teach you how to use them safely. Spoons, so you can pretend to mix the Play-Doh. Some lovely silver trays. And some frying pans and lots of lovely things where you can make pizzas or you can make cakes or you can even make wonderful people or fairies with these lovely natural materials here. We often use the shells to make butterflies. Whatever you want, be as creative as you like. So there's our Play-Doh table. Um, this is our sand pit. We've got to get some brand new sand all ready for you in September. That's why there's no sand yet. But when you do come in, you'll have some sand, lovely sand in it. You've got all of these lovely resources here. I bet you all love dinosaurs, don't you? I've got some dinosaur bones. You can use the dinosaurs and bones and bury them in the sand. That's so exciting to do. And we've also got these lovely shakers so you can sieve your sand. Sieve your sand to find your dinosaur bones if you want to. Right, this is our snack area. Our snack area is where you will sit down and have something to eat before you have lunch or before you go home. We're asking you to bring one thing from home that's healthy to have for your snack. So you could have a piece of fruit. I would have a banana. You could have an orange or an apple. Or you could have something else that's healthy, but just one thing for snack because you'll have something to eat later on. We don't want to spoil our dinner, do we? No. So that's our snack area. And you'll be able to help yourself to water. And if you have a water bottle, which you will bring in with you, you can put your water there. And whenever you get thirsty from all of this exciting playing you're doing, just have a drink and you'll feel better. This is where you will hang your bags. As you can see, some of my friends have already got pictures on here. These are some of our friends who are coming back. So they've got their pictures on here. And when you come in, we will take a picture of you and you will have your own picture on your pig. And eventually you'll be able to learn to read your own name. Wouldn't that be exciting? Fantastic. So we come around here. This is the area where you may need to use or you will need to use when you want to go to the toilet. Now we know you're all big boys and girls. So you can use the toilet when you need to go. But if you do need some help, then just come and ask a teacher and we can help you. Now, what's the most important thing to do once you've used the toilet? Wash your hands. And this is where you will do it, okay? So we will get a bit of soap from here. Rub our hands. Turn the tap on. 
drinks our hands. Now at the moment we, we are singing happy birthday two times to make sure we've got all those nasty germs and bugs off our hands. So once we are done, we turn the top off, shake our hands, then we go and dry them. We pull the towel once and then we dry our hands. Make sure they're lovely and dry because the next thing we're going to do is just put a little bit of sanitizer on to make sure we're nice and clean. Now we may ask you to do this quite a lot, even, up, even if you haven't been to the toilet, we will still be saying to you, let's go and wash our hands. And then we'll do this, so put some antibacterial spray on it and make sure our hands are nice and clean. And that way, if there are any germs on our hands, they've gone. If you stay for lunch, you'll put your lunch box here. So when um, you come in in the morning, the teacher will help you hang up your peg, hang up, put your coat on your peg. They'll also help you to put your water bottle on your trolley. And then we will also help you to put your lunch box on here. And then after that, you can go and play. Okay, fantastic. I've not showed you the garden yet, have you? This is the best bit yet. We have saved the best bit till last. So come into my wonderful garden. Ta -da! We've set it up a bit at the moment so you can see a few examples of what things we can play with. But look at all the wonderful toys. We have got a house that you can play with. If you like to play house, it's just like the inside house, but it's outside. And inside we have got babies you can play with and push chairs. You can sit here and have a picnic if you want. And you can also do some ironing and some cooking in there. We have a little look inside. Lots of lovely things to do in there. And here are the babies here that you can play with in the house if you want to. If you like making music or putting on plays or reading books, this is the area we will do it here. You can see someone has kindly given us some things to play with so we can knock on the door make different sounds. We'll also put out musical instruments here so you can sing us lovely songs that you've made up or songs that you know. I will join in with you too because I love to sing. So, And these are toys that we will get out. We don't get them out every day but every day we will pick something from here that we get out. So we don't get everything out at once, we get one thing out at a time and then we will, you will help us to choose what you would like. So you can choose from knights and castles, princesses, spaceships, we've got pirates, we've got train sets, we, you could even be a hairdresser if you want to be. But we will get one thing out at a time so that there's not stuff everywhere because it could get broken. And that's why we always ask you to put the toys back when you've finished so that they are nice for the next time you want to come and play. If you like drawing in the sunshine, which sometimes you, want, you may want to do, you've got drawing stuff out here. Paper and pens and books. And there's also chalks, so you can actually chalk on the floor. You're allowed to do that here at preschool. Make your lovely drawings on the floor with the chalks. This is our water area. So when you play with the water, you must always put on your wellies, which we will bring in and keep over here. So remember that when you come into preschool to bring your wellies with you and we will put them on here. So you'll put your wellies on, you'll come over to the water and you have, must put your apron on. Now the reason we say that is because we don't want you to get your clothes all wet. But if you do still get your clothes wet, that's okay because we'll ask mummy or daddy or nanny or granddad, whoever it is that looks after you, to bring some dry, clean clothes in for you because getting wet and getting muddy is a lovely part about coming to preschool. It doesn't matter because you just get cleaned up again afterwards. So there's lots of lovely things to play with in the water. You can go fishing. You can do use the pipettes to, to do that, <laughs> to poke the water up. Lots of lovely things in our water area here. And this is an area where we will set up for you to play with the lovely toys so on the shelf over there and some in here as well we've got some lovely dinosaurs out here 
Now next, in September, hope, we're hoping to have a brand new garage here for our cars so we can do lovely games with our cars and transport. We can also bring over the, the trains and things to play with over here. So that's going to be brand new for you next year. Here, you can do some balancing and walk on here. You can also play with the bikes or the scooter or this is my favourite, we call this a stepper and you have to try and move it with your body, great fun. You can get water in the water butt over there and you can take that into the mud kitchen which is over here. Now I bet you all love playing with mud and making mud pies and things, so guess what, you can do that here. You can get as muddy as you want, but remember, again, you must always put on your wellies and always put on an apron. If you get muddy still, we can just get you changed because the main thing about coming to preschool is that you have fun and getting dirty is part of getting fun and it's okay to get dirty because we can always get changed afterwards, okay? So this is our lovely natural area and see, if you can actually spot some of these birds and these bugs in our lovely trees here, our lovely wood. This is a lovely area, I like this area. This is our building area where you can make dens, you can make walls, you've got lots of lovely equipment in here. You can be workmen with your tools, so you can make lovely things here. And then this is the natural area where we've got some lovely plants growing. We'll have some more plants in here in the summer. This is our bamboo. We've got some lovely herbs here that if you rub them and smell them, they smell delicious. Absolutely lovely. And have you seen my sunflower? We are growing this sunflower. We grew, we grew it from a seed. Look how tall it's got, almost the top. And along here, we will be doing lots of growing as well next year. We'll probably grow some strawberries and things down there next year. Do you like strawberries? I like strawberries. And this is where our fairy garden is, for those of you who like playing with fairies. Because they live, they live in the plants, but they come out sometimes to play. So we leave that there for them when they want to come out and play. So we have to be quiet when we get the fairies, because we don't want to frighten them. Over here, we've got the tire swing, which my friends love to swing on. We say to be safe that you have to have both your feet on the side or both your legs inside and only one person at a time on the tire swing. And you must be able to swing yourself. We say that because we don't want anyone getting hit with a tire swing. But I know that you'll be able to do that and you'll have lots of fun on here. And then there's our sand pit. In the summer that will have lots of new sand in there for you to do lots and lots of digging and making sand castles, making sand pies, whatever you want to in there. Playing with our diggers as well. And I think that's it. But the last thing is this: these blocks here. These blocks are a real hit to my friends. They love to come up here and we say one at a time on the block and we have a map down there that they can jump off, but only one at a time and only if it's safe. So we will teach you how to use this safely in the summer, but my friends love it. It's the best thing that they use. This is the gate over here, which we will be coming into when we come into preschool. The teachers will lead you in from around the side and this is the gate we will come in. This is also the gate we will go out of when you go home. Okay? So this is the gate. You'll come in to this gate and come into the building this way. Okay? And then when you go home, you'll do the same. You'll get your bags and your coats. You'll come out this way, out of this gate, and walk all the way around the other side to take you home. So, that's my classroom. I really hope that you enjoy coming to preschool and meeting all the other ladies as well which you will meet when you come in for your meeting there's Miss Lydiard, Mrs Bush and Mrs Clift and you will meet those when you come in for next year okay but I really look forward to seeing you and you can watch this as many times as you want so you've got in your head 
when I think about preschool, I know exactly where I'm going and what to expect. Okay, so I look forward to seeing you then. Have a lovely summer.